Kim. And I'm Keandra. And we are the, the Red, Red Glasses, Glasses Sisters. Sisters. Today's episode is um, on our um, new summer finds. Mm -hmm. These are really turning into our summer favorites. Um, we're going to have like a mini outfit of the, of the day at the end as well. Um, and uh, just, you know, describing some of the uh, finds that we found, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that we found when uh, we went home for a spring break. I uh, went to a boutique, um, Apricot Lane. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. I got this, um, uh, oh, rather, <laughs> this um, cardigan from there. Um, they have really cute things there. We got to go again. We'll be home in a couple of weeks, so I might have to go over there, you know. But um, mm -hmm. we went there, and um, uh, we went to um, Bath and Body Works, mm -hmm. as well as... Walgreens but that wasn't there that was here in Atlanta <laughs> so yeah um, please stay tuned and enjoy hi everybody I am here first you'll see Keandra a little bit later um, in the little segment um, she's I believe going to be on part two but uh, at any rate, let's go on ahead and dive on into our great finds. As Keandra said that we went to Bath and Body Works, Apricot Lane, and then also um, just a few places like um, just Walmart, Target, all that kind of stuff like that. And when we, um, just last week actually, we went to um, Walgreens to get a few things. But um, for my Bath and Body Works finds, I love, um, I've always been a fan of Bath and Body Works. I absolutely love their, um, the thickness of their uh, body cream. That's my favorite, um, and over the years has become my favorite. I used to just love their lotion. But the body creams keep on um, the scent a little bit longer, um, in my opinion. Uh, my staple products from them, once upon a time, was um, the warm vanilla sugar because it, you know, I have really bad sinuses um, at times and anything can just start flaring that up. And um, that scent didn't make my um, sinuses get out of whack, if you will. Um, so, and it smells amazing, I just love it. Anything with like a vanilla or coconut undertone. I got this uh, Rio Rumberry. It has a um, kind of a very pineapple-y kind of scent in there. Um, it's, yeah, it's the most um, that I can say is kind of smells like a really nice uh, coconutty, exotic, pineapple-y, whatever. <laughs> e. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it smells great. Go there. when As soon as I walked in um, Bath & Body Works for their three um, and three, buy three, get three free um, sale, I smelled the, the room was lit up with something. And it was one of these scents that I got. I don't even know, remember actually which one. But when I smelled it, I was like, yes, that's it. And I got to have it. And give me as many as you can in it. <laughs> I hope that it becomes one of their staple products, real rum, rum berry. And then also I got wild berry tulips, and I want this to become a staple as well. So Bath & Body Works, if you're out there listening, listen to me good. These are your new products. These and the summer collection. Wild berry tulips smells kind of like, it doesn't smell like flowers. It does not. And that's a good thing because I hate the way flowers smell in real life and lotion. <laughs> real life. Um, it has a strawberry scent to it. And I love that. I love that it has that strawberry. I'm not a real like strawberry passion and all that kind of stuff. I'm not that kind of girl. But this too has like a warmer tone of strawberry. It's not really punchy. But both stay on, the scents stay on you for a long time. And that's hard to find in a lotion um, or a body cream. <laughs> so that's for my Bath and Body Works products. Um, now on to the cosmetic things that I got. I got these e.l.f. cleansing cloth, makeup remover cleansing cloths. And when I tell you it only takes one to clean my whole face, eyebrows, can, um, and um, blush, and foundation, one. And then that's that I found and that has become a favorite of mine and that was highly recommended by the same makeup artist friend. Um, this Maybelline Eye Studio pot, 
Uh, it is a eyeliner. And when I tell you that this stuff is golden, it is golden. And this is the brush that it came with to apply the makeup, or not makeup, <laughs> to apply the eyeliner with. I have the MAC eyeliner pot as well, um, but I must say I like this one better. Um, I'm sure that eventually this one will dry out as well. Uh, the MAC one dried out. It lasted me for a while, but it did eventually dry out and I didn't get a chance to use it all. I'd rather spend $7 than, you know, $15 and it dry out. My next favorite, um, Love Mascara. I don't really have thick, long lashes, so Illegal Length is the thing. This I use this um, as well as, I believe it's by either L'Oreal or Maybelline, I can't remember. But it has a ball at the top of the mascara wand. And to just get all of the eyelashes at, covered. And then I go over this, with this to lengthen them and thicken. And this really does work. I like this uh, Derma Blend Smooth Indulgence Concealer. And I use this for my eyebrows. I don't use it for a concealer. Um, but if you want to use a concealer, if you want like highlight under your eyes or anything like that, it's good for that too because it goes on smooth and matte and like whipped butter or something. It goes on wonderfully. That's that. Um, and then lastly for the cosmetics, I have on this red it is wet and wilds 970 purdy persimmon and it looks like this and it's a matte color it's their new um it's a new um collection of theirs the matte line um and it's beautiful on i love how it looks on and i love it with a primer of like white primer to make it pop but I just didn't put that on this time and this one here actually Keandra has one of these too and she has this on it is called don't blink pink and the number is 966 so that's that one so on to the clothing items that I got I got a pair of pants in the um, outfit of the day that you guys are going to see um, at the end of part two of the video. Then I got this Aztec print with like kind of like a dolman sleeve buttonless cardigan. Really nice thin type chiffon material. Very good for summer and spring, you know, to kind of uh, be cool and still covered because I like to wear jackets and cardigans pretty much all year round. But then we have next this that I got from Target. I needed an emergency top. Had something come up, but I didn't end up wearing this top because it didn't end up going to that. Um, but it's a V-neck top, and again, this is it's like a neon green, and I love neon colors. I really love neon with nude colors. Um, I saw it in I believe in a magazine, and I fell in love with it, and I was like. That's perfect, like nice neutral tone, but even more so a nice nude, pale nude. And it has a t-shirt fabric on the back, which is perfect for um, fit purposes because shirts like this in this material do not work well with my hips and my butt. They bubble in the middle and don't go down. And they're too big up here, too small down here, and so it just doesn't work. So I got to get my size in this and still be able to fit my hips. And I got it from Target. It's the Massimo collection and it was $17.99. And yes, the tag is still on because I don't remove tags until I wear the clothing. I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of my new finds for the summer. And enjoy the next segment or next part or whatever. <laughs> Just enjoy.